This is how to play an acoustic 12 bar blues with the little lead licks in a sort of vintage Eric Clapton kind of style um, But this is an amalgamation of all the common things that we would do when we're in the key of E uh, Especially on acoustic if you want the full tab that I'm going to be working from to teach this lesson It is totally for free on the website click here. You can print it totally for free um, Check that out. You'd be crazy not to and uh, you'll also find loads of help on that same link on the website um, with how to uh, play just the, the same thing with the basic open chords like uh, E major and A7 just with basic strumming uh, a full lesson just on how to play this blues riff and a couple of the lead licks in isolation as well so more in-depth videos um, or slower videos than will go here but I will be showing you everything that I've just played working from this tab and um, let's get straight in for a close-up and check out this acoustic blues 12 bar blues in the key of E. As I've said before, the tab, which is looks like this, is available from the website totally for free and I'm going to be using it to teach this lesson. If you don't use that, you're crazy. It is up there for free. We are going to start off with the turnaround section. Essentially, we're going to start off with this lick. So there we have basically a D7 shape moved up not one but two frets so this is normal D this is a D7 a D7 and we slide it up not one but two frets and then after we've picked three notes we move it down a fret and then we move it down again so this sounds like with a, just a quick strum okay and every time uh, we're going to pick this little section, because it will repeat a couple of times, it uh, begins picking the third string, and then one, two. That's our pattern of, of three. Three, one, two. Da, da, da. Slide down one fret. One fret again. And nice and slowly, but without a pause, because we just want da, 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 nice and even. That's the bit. One more time. And that is bar one, and that is our turnaround section, which will start the song and also kind of finish the song as well. The finish this round of twelve bar blues. And then we let go of this shape and pick the open third string and hammer on the first finger on that uh, first fret of the third string, which is where it would be just on a normal E major chord. So just that first finger, you know, open, hammer on. And then, of course, we need a open, first finger, middle finger, and that's all on the third string. To finish off, it's a B7 chord, which again is using that D7 shape, but on the, uh, on the thicker strings, on string five. In total, the first two bars of this are... And staying strict to the tab, up, down, up. So we have that last uh, part of the bar, open, one, two, up, down, up. I'll try and stay as strict to this tab as I can. So in total, three, four, one. down up and that up down up has has a bounce to it because we're in 12-8 uh, which I'll cover more about that in a second but just one more time through that intro
And then we get on to the more familiar, hopefully more familiar to you guys, blues riff. Okay, so first finger playing an E power chord, just the thickest two strings. A couple of ways you could do it, you could do one and two and three and four and that was probably easier, I always prefer. So we're only hitting four once there. Fret numbers wise, two, two, four, four, two. Fret numbers wise, two, two, four, two, 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 four, two. And then the second, uh, well, bar four, sticking strict to the tab, moves down a string and goes to the A5 chord, but we do a variation on that riff where we're going to go. Okay, so. finishing on an E5 power chord and that's where we're going to add the lick so this is uh, uh, substituting is the word I'm looking for substituting just an E chord to an A which is the way that I teach it in that video that's on the website just here and we'll probably link to it in um, just an annotation as well what we're going for three four any of that is new to you, you want to be checking out those videos on the website because they go through each of those components. This bit should be new to most of you because I haven't covered too much of this stuff on my channel yet and it is... Pretty cool right? Sliding from um, first finger at the second string second fret, middle finger here and we slide. This is basically how we started, but sliding up by one fret, and uh, we're not playing the third finger, we're just playing string two and three. Again, a round of three, because we're in 12 8, which uh, means, uh, tw well, f it kind of feels like each beat is split into three, and uh, it kind of feels like a triplet group. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four and a, that's what it feels like. One and a, two and a, okay. Great for if you're wanting to, you know, one day play kind of Johnny Be Good or something. That kind of thing. And then a flat first finger at uh, two and two, kind of playing two notes out of an A chord. Just string two and three. So that again, from bar five specifically, one, two and a three and a four. Really slowly. Bar six, open to one. Finish strings. And then back to just filling out the rest of the bar with an E chord. Or an E power chord because we're only picking the thicker couple of strings. So bar five and six. Three, four, one. Okay. So this entire second line, just on its own, really slow, is as follows. I'll do it here so you can see the pick as well, but that means I can't palm mute it, which is what I would be doing. Three, four. One more time. Three, four. Three, 
three, four. Okay, and then we go to an A7 chord. And uh, the basic way to do this would just be down and up swing strumming. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. But what I've added to that is adding the little finger on here. Okay, and uh, the bar is the bar 7 and bar 8 in total would be with a couple of notes at the end just to make it a bit cooler. So from the A7 little finger remember the, the, the strumming is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down all the time but generally the down strums we want to pick the thicker strings and the up strums we hit the thinner strings as well. One more time really slow. Middle finger third fret. First finger to the second fret, which is an E note on, on the uh, fourth string with the first finger. One more time through that. Three, four. And then bars nine and 10 are exactly the same as bars five and four. So there's always going to be repetition of this. Uh, uh, out of the 12 bar blues, you know, there's, there's only really six of them because uh, so much of it is repeated. So to recap where we've got to so far, which I'm going to demo from bar one to the end of bar 10. So just before the ending and the turnaround. So this is um, about 75% of the whole thing. Here we go, nice and slow. Three, four, one. Down, up. Lead line. A7. Little lead line. And then we get to the turnaround, which most of it we've seen before, just apart from this B7 in this fashion. Okay, so let's break that down. Bar 11, B7, we haven't covered in this fashion before, but the A7 at bar 12, that's just the uh, exactly the same as bar eight. Okay, so it's just it's just a repetition, and bar um, ooh, thirteen. You know that's exactly the same as bar one. So um, there is a lot of repetition with this. So bar eleven is just a B7 chord with down and up strumming in a swing motion. One, and two, and three, and four, and. That was on the and four that I let go of the thinnest string just to give it a bit more of a sense of melody. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And then A7. And four and turn around. Uh, 
and then you have a choice、um, because what you do after governs whether you're going to finish the song or keep this going for as long as you choose for. That, that's why this is called a turnaround. Are we going to go and turn around back to the start of the song or are we going to end it? So, the,、um, to turn around and go back to the start of, of the piece, you just play the first line again. As soon as you get to here, up, down, up, and you go back to the riff. And, and you go again. If you want to end it, it goes like this. And that's a nice bluesy ending. And these two chords that I just played here are the、uh, B7 chord shape slid up one, two, three, four, five frets for the ending chord, and then just overshoot it by, by one fret here. So this is eighth fret with the middle finger to seventh fret. Is my third dot on my guitar. I'm sorry that I don't have the inlays to kind of show you guys where the,、uh, where the fret numbers are as easy. It was an oversight on my part. So this is eighth fret to seventh fret. It does kind of sound better, I think, if you don't have that finished string ringing out. Just a bit nicer. So just mute it with the underside of your first finger here. So that turn around to finish it. So the ending in total, the last two bars, bar 13 and 14. And that's the ending. Okie dokie, let's have a, a bit of a close up on how I would、uh, play this if we were repeating it.、Uh, let me make sure we're in focus and stuff. Focus and stuff, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to go from bar one to bar 13, but then repeat the whole thing again and, and then end it. So, we're going to repeat the sheet twice. That's what those double lines mean with the two dots.、Uh, they mean a, a repeat line. So, let's go from the top and、um, <laughs> watch me for the changes and try and keep up. Okay, I guess.、Uh, just as a count in one and two and three and four and one. Seven. Turn around from bar eleven. Bar twelve. Ending. And that is how to play an acoustic 12 bar blues with some licks. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and you can check out more of my videos by clicking the links on the screen now.